John Doyle is really dumb, and I actually saw Vosh cover this video, and I wanted to cover it too, because I think it's worth talking about, and maybe my angle on it is a little different. So, um, but yeah, he is, just look at this Trump stuff, look, <laughs> look at this stuff. He's got the Jesus, he's got capitalism, Smith & Wesson, Tesla, like, there's just... There's just a lot. There's just a lot going on here. The American flag. He's very, he's very animated. And he's not even, he's, he's paused right now. Okay, now he's unpaused. Okay, okay, okay. Imagine thinking that this is what Trump is like. Like this image. Imagine, imagine you look at Trump and this is how you interpret him. Like this, they idolize him so much it's kind of disturbing just to see trump as this sort of deity almost he's not a good dude trump trump is not a good dude he likes non-consensually grabbing women by the pussy that is out that is a fact i don't understand how anyone can play defense with just that fact alone and there's so many more things against trump his taxes him say him making fun of disabled people the things he said about immigrants just he is really weird and uh also there's a weird sound effect that comes every time a picture comes on and it's kind of annoying come off it's the only chance that we have to save our country and we're officially beginning the hoc election coverage series which means that we're going to start going through the whole list of videos that i brainstormed for you guys everything from what happens if joe biden wins to exposing their plan to steal the election everything that you need to know exposing their plan to steal the election this ridiculous sign all right oh whoa, whoa, whoa. okay so this is what the video is about it's about this sign actually i want to speed this up just a little bit speed it up to 125 and you guys are going to get used to it. You probably have as well. And it I makes think a series of claims that are designed not only to virtue signal, but to pander to the low. Or, no, I got to turn this up. Lowest common denominator in society. Yeah. Isn't it great that we all get to vote? So. Okay, hopefully that works. Hopefully you could hear John Doyle now. We will go up. But anyways, this sign, um, we believe black lives matter. Okay, cool. No human is illegal. All right. Pro, pro immigration, uh, pro black people, pro the pro black people movement um love is love yeah pro gays gays are good women's rights are humans rights yeah okay women can have right to bodily autonomy he good now all right science is real science is very real i i agree water is life i mean sure yeah water keeps us alive injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere yeah kind of I, I sure yeah, I got nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with this. Over why the sign is a scam, why the people who a display scam. it are uneducated, and why the sign itself is completely uneducated. absurd. Uneducated. So, absurd. This is completely absurd. Okay, this this intro is super cringy. Uh, I feel like he paid. Yeah, I feel like he actually paid to have this paid. I don't know. It's it's weird. John Doyle. Hello, ladies off, and Tommy. gentlemen, welcome to he's not, he's not actually married or anything. He just wishes that he could, you know, have that trad life. But, uh, I don't know, he's he's wonky. Back off, Kami. Firstly, I would like to give a very warm welcome to everyone who is new here. I don't know why his his whole thing is heck off, Kami, when his Twitter is Comrade Doyle. Uh, comrade is typically associated with... It's a word that's, that communists like to associate with. If you're on the left, calling people Comrade is kind of a meme. That's that's a funny one. That's that's a little weird. I don't know what that's about. We've been growing a lot recently, so everyone be sure to welcome the new viewers in the comments. Very simply put, we believe in American exceptionalism. We believe that America should be put first. We believe that the American family should be put first, and we believe that the best way to the begin American to accomplish family. those things is to better ourselves, to make ourselves more disciplined. So, you know, that's what we're about. Uh, but we're happy to have you here. But anyways, we will get onto this yard sign now. We first have to point out how much of a privilege it actually is to be able to display a political yard sign in 2020. Like, how much of a privilege it is to be able to express your beliefs, not have your sign stolen, not have your car keyed, not have a passive-aggressive post written about you on nextdoor.com. Really, it is a great privilege that they have, and the reason that they have it is because they're actually willing to go out of their way to silence or even harm you for Okay, so the reason why people are less accepting of Trump signs and not signs like this is because Trump fans 
are the most obnoxious little shits out there, okay? I mean, you could you just look at just look at John Doyle here. He has the shirt and the hat for for the the, the Trump shit. He's got a Donald Trump tweet on his laptop right here. That that's a Donald Trump tweet. I could see it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. They're just so obsessed with Trump. And like I said earlier in the video, when he had that this that picture, my my character's covering it. But the Trump picture where he's on the tank, like they they deify him. It, they're just really obnoxious people. They're not only are they obnoxious, they're really pieces of shit. They're typically homophobic, anti-immigration. Yeah, we did see many Trump signs driving to the vets today. They're pro. They're anti anti-choice for decrease decreasing taxes on the rich like conservative ideas are pretty much just ideas that hurt people the only real conservative ideal that i agree with is gun rights i do think that people have the rights to have firearms but that's really the only crossover i have uh, i think that they're just wrong on absolutely everything else you know they're they're always on the wrong side of history always holding back anything from progressing it's just it's just unfortunate disagreeing with them and the reason for that more broadly speaking is because liberalism is rooted in selfishness to refuse to acknowledge any ideas other than your own as legitimate or worthy of respect is a symptom of liberalism is selfishness liberalism a, a liberal would say that another person has the freedom to do what they want a conservative would take issue like let's for an example if we had a gay couple just existing a liberal person would be okay with that a liberal person wouldn't give a shit a conservative person would get offended if they're conservative enough right there's obviously some conservatives who don't care but they're not that conservative but if you're like really conservative yeah you're gonna you're gonna take issue with that you're gonna want to vote against that you're gonna think that's degenerate and wrong and immoral and uh taking over the western culture this dude certainly is homophobic based on his videos he is such a simp for the idea of the nuclear family i mean you can see it in his intro that's all he wants he's basically jerking off to it even though he won't ever have that it's just it's just sad it's just pathetic conservatives are just weak-minded insecure people are upset that things aren't going their way and uh we're gonna see him mauled we're gonna see him get mad selfishness and this should come as no surprise to us like when you study the philosophy of liberalism you'll find that it is about liberating the individual from everything from from culture from neighborhoods from language from morality religion literally everything until he's this absolutely autonomous unit who's only concerned with himself and resultantly people who are attracted to this philosophy tend to be pretty selfish and that should not surprise us remember these are the people who say things like stop having kids having kids is terrorism i hate I think this is kind of cringe, calling it environmental terrorism. I think that's kind of hyperbolic. This is an article saying that having more kids is not as good. Statistically speaking, yeah, probably. It's, it's humans cause a lot of harm to the planet. Having less humans would mean less harm is being done to the planet. Calling it environmental terrorism, it's kind of, it's kind of woke scoldy. It, it's, it's not good optics, but whatever people we need a new plague kill all the men kill all the trump supporters but then they'll also evangelically kill all the men kill all the trump supporters like this is what this is what the right sees again i made that video in the last stream about xander hall chart of leftism and the toxic side of leftism a lot of a lot of this stuff is the result of woke scolds and it really puts a misinterpretation in these people's heads Especially the further right you go, the more th it's these people that you see. Support wearing masks, support these narratives. Okay, he just <laughs> went anti-mask there. Uh, full stupid. Full stupid. I want to say, I want to be ableist for him being anti-mask, but I will refrain from ableism. Really about, they don't care about humanity. They don't care about me or you simply because we're human beings. It's so really, really ironic. Just... It's really ironic for a conservative to say that liberals don't care about humanity. It's real when they're the ones that are funded by oil companies, which are destroying the planet. Anti climate change, like climate change, they 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 pretty much deny climate change. They deny they're they're just and and they're just anti progress. I mean that is what that is pretty anti humanity. If I had to if I had to 
speak my mind on it their own egos by presenting themselves as virtuous with virtue being defined by whatever the screen people yeah i know on that day wait screen people what the what the hell are screen people we'll find out and that's what it's all about, like, especially when they display these signs in the front yards. And what's funny, too, is the people who are making and selling these signs, they don't seem to be genuinely conservative politics the is website, pure projection. Is signs of justice, cringe. They're selling them for signs $10 of justice each, is but cringe. you have to order a minimum of 10. So you have to spend at least $100 on signs that probably cost $2 to make. And then it's another $150 per sign if you want the metal stakes included, which probably cost 50 cents to make. Right. So somebody's making absolute bank. Homie, this is capitalism. You have a sign on your laptop that says enjoy capitalism. For you to critique this is very strange. This is this is kind of weird. Capitalism is cringe, yes, but if you are a capitalist, you would just think of it as them just doing business. It's just how it's just how business works. And you wouldn't complain about it. But because they have a message that you don't like, you get really triggered and uh, angry about it. And it's kind of pathetic. Off, allowing liberals to feel good about themselves in their all white neighborhoods. So we'll go through the sign now. All it white neighborhoods. Claims which I don't supposedly reflect the beliefs of the household. I don't think this is a, do just a white they're person thing. They don't have any nuance to them. At Holy all. fuck. Holy fuck. The, their bumper stickers claim. Holy fuck. It's a fucking yard sign. What do you expect? A conservative starts talking about how profit is evil. Yeah, isn't that weird? That's really fucking weird. But it's a yard sign. What do you want? Do you do you want a scholarly article on the sign? Do you want uh, peer-reviewed studies all over the sign? Like, what, what are you complaining about? He's, he's just pulling it out of his rectum. The talking points, they just keep coming like little shit turds, you know? Like, like the, the small ones. That kind of hurt to get out. You know what I'm talking about? That's that's what he's doing verbally. To frame these issues, not as political issues, but moral issues, and to communicate that this house is on the right side of history. But the problem is that they're all basically political issues because politics is literally the science of how we should structure. Moral issues and political issues are the same thing. Okay, if you think that abortion is a moral issue, uh, that's a fair argument. You can argue that m abortion is a moral issue. It's also political because whether we can engage in that is decided by politics. So what he's talking about here, I don't know. Your society. So if you're making any claim or suggestion about the concerns of the society, you know, technically speaking, that's a political claim. But they don't want to frame it that way. They would prefer to frame these issues as moral issues because it allows them to simultaneously avoid debate and to create a little dopamine, feel good about themselves. So the first thing that it says is we believe black lives matter. OK, I do, too, in that I believe black lives matter, just like the lives of other people. But I do not believe black lives matter. I do not believe the movement. The I believe black lives matter, but I do not believe black lives matter. Um, I I'd imagine this guy is kind of racist behind the scenes. Again, um, black lives matter is a movement for black people. It's pro-black people. I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but uh, he's very against it for some reason. The movement was built upon lies. Virtually every claim made by Black Lives Matter is a lie. Virtually every example which they cite really? as evidence of racism is a lie. Really? I, I mean, to these people, racism doesn't exist. Um, conservatives often make the claim that racism is non-existent and it has died out, but Black Lives Matter is a very anti-racist group. Obviously, he would say this. Two very in-depth videos on this topic, which I will link in the description. I think I'll actually do that. I'm not uh, with a lot of these claims. The new people can go back and watch some of the older content. They're probably it's shit. I'm humble, but it's all good. Uh, but this sign, it just proves the point that Black Lives Matter is nothing more than a brilliant rhetorical strategy from a radically left, openly racist. This article, this article, you, uh, it's, it's old. Hold on. We can actually try to find it. Uh, notice the weird language appears to label. Like, it's not like they actually say it purportedly mused about how the race could be wiped out and they don't actually show you the post uh i don't know what this is this is another thing but they don't actually show the facebook post and on top of that this is black lives matter toronto it's not the same as uh black lives matter america this is this is canada and uh this article is three years old so and he never, he just puts the, uh, he just puts the headline up. He just puts the headline up. And to a lot of people that counts as, you know, valid sources of evidence and whatnot. But if you look into these things, they're kind of shit. They're kind of shit sources. And 
to a lot of normies just flashing up headlines of sources makes them think that you're credible. And it's it's a rhetorical technique used to establish credibility, but not really. Like, to illegitimately do, illegitimately do that. People use to say racism is dead usually are the ones openly being racist. Yep, that's true. Domestic terrorist organization because they can do literally whatever they want, whether that's burning cities down, inspiring the murder. Burning or cities down. Okay. Um, I don't, they always say burning cities down, but it's usually like one building. Like this is, this picture is one building. It's not an entire city. To these people, I think Portland is just gone to them. It's just decimated. We're moving on. That's weird. Of white people, the murder of police officers, literally whatever they want. And if you criticize them, well, what? Uh, with the this case, people, the this of police officers, this, this one, this one, uh, this was a black separatist uh, dipshit person. If you look up the article, he did not like Black Lives Matter, uh, and he was bad. He he was not Black Lives Matter, so. No credibility. No credibility here. Literally whatever they want. And if you criticize them, well, what is it? Do you not think that Black Lives Matter? It's a great strategy. If you criticize them, they can just hide behind the name and the NPCs will fall in line. But anyways, the next one might actually be my favorite. Uh, the next one says simply that no human is illegal. And what that means is that you can immigrate to their property and demand housing, education, food, and health care, and they will be more than happy to give it to you since it's impossible to trespass since no human being is illegal because borders are just made up lines. This is dumb because, yes, uh, he's pretty much saying the law there's there's a lot there there are laws therefore humans are illegal that that's that's essentially his argument the point of the sign is to say that conceptually humans should not be illegal it's not saying that there is no law i don't know how you could operate on this level of thought i don't know how you could think that is an argument i mean this man's literally arguing against a yard sign and losing <laughs> god help me this the problem is... with that is that it's trying to disprove something within a framework that requires the existence of a concept that allows it to exist and what i mean by that is saying no human is illegal is an acknowledgement of the fact that certain things are legal and other things are not legal and those are categorized by the government of our civilization and since the government has the power to enforce the laws uh it really doesn't matter what you personally think the government is going to th it doesn't matter the law exists He's using the open borders equals letting people into your home argument. Yeah, that too. Uh, that's not what open borders means. It doesn't mean you're literally letting someone into your house. It just means that they are in the same country. I mean, being in the same country and being in the same house are two very different things. But conservatives often like to equate the two, which is really dumb, really weird, and really stupid. Yeah, I don't know how you can be a conservative. <laughs> I just, I don't understand it. Theoretically enforce the laws of the society. So you can whine all you want, but at the end of the day, the government has power and you don't, which means that illegally crossing the border into our country or even into any country on the planet, really. You uh, can whine, but if you do something illegal, that's illegal. <laughs> that's not what the sign is saying. The sign is saying it shouldn't be illegal. Uh, it's not a good idea because what you're doing- And he's not smart enough to understand it, that it hurts. He's not strong. He's not smart enough to understand that the sign is saying it shouldn't be illegal. It's illegal as defined it's by the really people simple. The he overcomplicates it. And since they have the power, they can decide that. If you wanted to make a slightly better argument, you could say, well, you know, there's no really such thing as legal or illegal. We're all equal, so everything's just arbitrary. That would actually be a more logically consistent argument to make. But again, when legality and civility are erased, all that's left is power. And if the power says that you're not allowed in, then you're not allowed in. And at that point, you have no one to complain to except yourself, maybe your cats, God, assuming you believe in him. So yes, human beings can be illegal if they are somewhere that they're not legally permitted to be. And if you disagree with this, I'll see you at dinner tomorrow. You know, I'm going to set up the HOC compound on your property in your backyard because no human being is illegal. I also, I did a video debunking all these immigration arguments. That yeah, like in your property, in your backyard. He thinks that people who think immigration is a good thing and that people should be allowed to immigrate, um, immigrating illegally shouldn't be a thing. He thinks that they think that it's okay to have them in your in their backyard. I don't know. It's okay to go in their backyard. It, it, he's very dumb. That's in the description too. So anyways, next one is love is love. And this is supposed to mean that there's no difference between types of relationships. They're all the same because love is just love. And what frustrates me the most about this one is that these people think that I mean, all of a sudden true. everyone just woke up one morning and was like, wait a minute, they just love each other? Well, yeah, go for it. Which is not at all what happened because LGBT rights are a... Well, I mean, kinda. Kinda. I mean, it, 
people were homophobic for a long time, that was in large part due to a lack of understanding of what it means to be gay. Just this sort of alienization uh, made it to where there was a lot of discrimination just because people didn't understand it. And as people understand it more and more nowadays, it's become more accepted. And it's really that simple political issue. And like all political issues, they're advanced through brute strategy and willpower, which is exactly what happened with this. This plan was laid out in the 1980s screen. and 1990s by organizations such as the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force. They wrote about this in a book released in 1989 titled After the Ball, How America Will Conquer Its Fear and Hatred of Gays in the 1990s. They said that- I mean, it's cool. How America Will Conquer Its Fear and Hatred of Gays. I mean, cool book, whatever. In any campaign to win over the public, gays must be portrayed as victims in need of protection so that straights will be inclined by reflex to adopt the role of- What the hell are you talking about? Gays were discriminated against and they were victims back in the 80s and 90s. There was the whole, um, what was it, the AIDS panic? Where people literally thought that God was wiping them out through AIDS, despite knowledge being available at the time that straight people could also get AIDS? Again, He's a homophobe and he thinks that there is no such thing as homophobia, that there is no discrimination, and uh, it, it kind of does reinforce the trend. It applies to racism as well. Like, racists typically think that racism doesn't exist anymore and that it's a thing of the past. Of the protector, they said that the public should be persuaded that gays are victims of circumstance, that they no more choose their sexual orientation than they did height, skin color, talents, etc., and that they should be portrayed as the victims of prejudice. I mean, did you choose to be straight? I don't know. I don't think sexuality is a choice. I don't think anyone woke up one day and said that they were gay, straight, bi, or whatever. It's just a matter of figuring out and realizing what you are rather than deciding and choosing it. It's just, you just realize what you are. If I asked this guy to, if I asked this guy if he chose to be straight, if he was somewhat intelligent, he would say no. If he was not intelligent, he would say he did. Of course, you have to fight to stop being discriminated against. What do you expect the gay people back then to do? Yeah, I know, right? Like, there needs to be a sort of revolution and a push to social change. Like, people have to... There's a whole civil rights movement around it, so... I mean, like, look at the title of the book. It pretends that Americans hated gay people. We were afraid of them. No. They, no. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. This is just wrong. But we thought that it would be a slippery slope, and we were correct. And now, a couple decades later, your son is learning to question his gender identity in his kindergarten class. Oh, my God. It's a slippery slope, and it has led to trans people existing. The genderbred person is... It makes sense to me. I don't know. He clearly has access to this information, and it, and it clearly explains... Male and femaleness, feminine and masculine, woman and man, and how all these things are different explains sexual attraction, romantic attraction, how everything works. Maybe he doesn't believe gay people are actually gay. It's some elaborate ruse to destroy Western civilization. You know, now that I think about it, like the way he portrays it as the way they, they have to manipulate society and change things that's very possible that is very possible and leftists always get really triggered by this they're like um no well that's just a conspiracy theory no no not a theory it's all publicly available i don't know what he's talking about what cons what conspiracy my dude I would be happy to educate you on why you believe what you believe but i'm not going to apologize to you for uh resisting the propaganda campaign because i have higher impulse control than you do David, the, this is this is projection um he's very upset he's very he's very very angry all right, and we need to we need to be nice. We need to treat him respectfully because he's very upset. Uh, we can just see it. No, fuck this piece of shit. I want to bonk him with my 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 drawing of my baseball bat. Fuck this man. They infiltrated the American Psychiatric Association. They, they infiltrated the American Psychiatric Association. Oh. The way that it regarded homosexuality through political pressuring would make it easier to change the way that it was regarded by the public. And they were correct. The public perception on same-sex marriage has literally inverted in the last few decades. And it was because of a very- Look at how mad he is! Look at how mad he is! Not because, oh, we're just smarter now. We're just more inclusive now. No, no, it's because they capitalize on how stupid and predisposed to virtue signaling you are. So congratulations. But uh, to address the sign directly, love is love, that's not true.
there are different types of love. That's not love true. Man, the woman is unique. That's not true. Uh, PewDiePie. I don't know why he's showing PewDiePie. I mean, there are a lot of people that say PewDiePie is alt right. I don't know if that's true. I don't really care. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's going on because about. Because it can create life. That's the bottom line. That's why we elevate it to the status of marriage. And whether you look at it from a religious perspective, you don't need marriage to uh, fuck and have an offspring. It's, it, it doesn't work like that. Uh, unfortunately, he seems to think you do because that's traditional, and I just think that's pretty dumb. Uh, where man and woman are to become unified through love and to create life, or, you know, a more evolutionary uh, Rick and Morty, oh, love is- Um, what if a trans man and a trans woman commit offspring? Is that love not valid? What if someone makes an artificial womb, gets a sperm and an egg cell, plops it in there, and makes offspring like that? Is that- love is that valid and also the rick and morty thing rick says that love is a chemical reaction in the brain to stimulate mating which it is that is technically true but rick fails to realize that it, it is deeper than that and that the feelings that you experience from the chemicals in your brain are very important and impact your life greatly and rick purposefully ignores this because to cope with himself he wants to believe that that love is nothing more than that and to remain cynical and he just doesn't want to change i mean i don't think he's understanding the point of rick and morty he's probably not smart enough low iq man yeah we'll go with that it's just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed burp type perspective you know love romantic love is rooted in the potential to create human life and metaphysically speaking love is an action it's about commitments if you love someone, it means that you give everything that you have to that person, all your effort, and that requires commitment to that person. Gay people can do the same thing, you idiot. Gays, bi's, pansexual, polyamorous people, they they could all have that same commitment. I don't know why he thinks that only straight people can have this. So yeah, we just got some homophobia out here, casual homophobia committed to that person if there's other people that means that you're not giving that one person all of your effort because you're you know balancing it out you're distributing it um, and i'm not saying that non-straight relationships don't have that however i will point out that the average length of a gay relationship is less than two years okay you're, gay you're relationships saying are open or non-monogamous and that casual hookups are a staple of gay culture what's a good example of gay culture san francisco in the 1980s maybe half the gay men in san francisco during the 1980s had over 500 sexual partners something important to know he's mad he's mad he wishes he had 500 <laughs> I think you're giving this guy too much credit. I'm pretty sure Doyle literally just a plain fash that wishes he lived in the 50s. Yeah, I mean, his intro, he he, he, he loves that aesthetic. He, he does, he wishes that we could go back to the good old days where we could uh, just hate on gays. Um, it was only the nuclear family and um, women were barefoot and locked in the house all day. The point being that we have no ill will towards gay people. We're not afraid of them. We don't hate them, but we do acknowledge that the love between a man and a woman is unique, and it is that relationship that creates life. <laughs> we don't hate them, but uh, straight marriage is just superior. And families, the stability and preservation of which are literally the backbone of Western civilization. That's all. And the next one is women's rights are human rights. There's no such thing as women's rights. We have rights as human beings. You do not get exclusive rights simply because you are if a woman. There is a group that is lacking in rights and uh, a movement forms to help give that group rights. There is such thing as a movement, that group getting rights. In this case, women. Women don't have as much rights. I mean, it's gotten a lot more equal, but there has been a historical civil rights movement for women getting rights. Therefore, women's rights exist. Uh, this claim he made is just, just outright wrong. And, and to also campaign this while your coalition is trying to erase what it means to be a woman, like both biologically and philosophically, it's a pretty audacious thing. Biologically really and philosophically, the right there's no such thing as a biological woman. It doesn't exist. Also, this this sign, uh, don't tread on me. Interesting. Very interesting twist on the uh, the, sn the snake sign. Also, anti-coat hanger. Yeah, if you if you're anti if you're pro pro life, right? You're you're also pro coat hanger abortion. That's just that's just how that works. At, if if abortion was illegal, coat hanger abortions increase dramatically. It's it's that simple. That's not true. Roe v. Wade was one of the most poorly adjudicated cases in the history of the Supreme Court. They decided that a woman has a right to an abortion because of an implied right to privacy, which is also not written in the Constitution. But I also find it interesting that the okay, left the Constitution is old as fuck and uh, not that it's not that up to date. 
it, it, it should be updated. Roe v. Wade as a piece of legislation, I think it is a little bit unclear on some things, but I think that what it does, it does really well. You know, giving people the right to an abortion is very important because without it, there are serious consequences. From the pro-life position, you could justify a lot of weird, wacky things. Um, like what, at what point is something a person, right? Like when do we assign personhood to something? Is it just any living thing that comes out of a human is considered a person? Are reproductive cells people? I mean, because if that would be the case, masturbation would be mass abortion. That, that would literally be mass abortion. Maybe that's why the Christians get so upset when people masturbate. I don't know call to action that these feminists have convinced generations of women that they are most empowered by liberating themselves from the defining characteristic of their womanhood which is their ability to give birth truly very sad maybe women <laughs> taking into the press he's saying women are baby making machines also this graph is really stupid because women when they are 45 plus uh they pretty much can't reproduce you're not so i this this graph is irrelevant really dumb hey um stay at home play music read books write poetry create art decorate make food do whatever you want but would you please just be the mother of my children i'll pay for everything just run the vacuum once a week if you wouldn't mind making dinner too that'd be epic is that okay would you mind he just he just wants to own and keep a woman locked in his house uh never let her out absolutely control everything about her life everything about her sexuality how she interacts with everything yeah, it's it's really gross. It's really gross to see how obvious it is from this dude. So moving on from that. Letting me cherish you for the rest of your life. Would that be too much to ask? Take a break from the spreadsheets. Maybe, I don't know, raise the next generation. No, stop oppressing me. Working for a corporation. And if a to woman doesn't want to be your trad wife, that that's the woman's choice. And to see this man getting mad... He's getting mad about a hypothetical woman is just really pathetic. He's very insecure. Um, he's probably really lonely. He's probably never felt the touch of a woman. He's probably a virgin. Yeah, I very sad. Play with my cats is empowering. Working for my family is oppressive. And I know that because corporate media told me so. What a shame. That's the problem, boys. They're not mad at you. They're mad at their fathers. Strong men will cure feminism in less than two generations. If you want your son to be able to play video games without getting... Oh yeah, strong men. They these feminists, they just need to be fucked by a strong man and that'll that'll teach them. That'll that'll make them want to be oppressed. <laughs> uh this man has a total of 2 IQ. No, not even. He has a 1 intelligence quota. That's it. Just 1. He he's able to speak, so he gets 1 bitch chat for well how do they portray the women you have to stop watching porn gotta start lifting weights and figure out a few epic goals start working towards them stop because watching if men become porn, masculine again start women lifting will weight you can watch porn and lift weights and again well why can't they just become feminine first see that that's the estrogen talking get it together big guy the estrogen Maybe. you got a problem with estrogen negative two iq could be yeah but anyways uh the next one is science is real Science is real, man. I look science look at science NASA is clothes. real. Shut up, nerd. Science is fake. Your interest in science is fake because you think it makes you look smart. You know how I know you're not smart? You spent at least... Is science not real? Where's where's the argument against the sign? A hundred dollars to let your name... I mean, he's he's not making an argument against the sign. Neighbors know that you don't think lynching black people is a good idea. Yeah, lynching black people isn't a good idea. If, you, if that is what you take from this sign, if you think that this sign means don't lynch black people and you are against that sign... You're making a whole video arguing against this sign. You're pretty weird. You're you're pretty weird. I don't like you. Like people were jogging by before with no clue as to the opinion of your household on lynching black people. But now, after you pay the $100 woke tax, they're like, the good woke for them. tax. Good for them. Science is fake and lobbied for. When you believe in science, you're not reading science. Science is fake and lobbied for. I love this. I love this. He's just anti intellectual. Science is fake and lobbied for. I. Wow. Wow. That's not true. That's not true. Science is a very real thing and it has helped us progress 
so much in the world, actually. Everything that we have is the result of science. The microphone that he's using, the laptop he has, uh, the gun behind him, all of that works because of a scientific understanding of how things in our world work. For him to just say that it's it's lobbied for and fake is really dumb. He's really taking everything he has for granted. I mean, the lights in his house, that's science. Science is not about being biased. It's about figuring out the truth. That's what it that's what it's all about. Obviously is some pseudoscience that's lobbied for. An example would be back when the Supreme Court was making a decision on gay marriage and the Defense of Marriage Act, they lobbied for pseudoscience uh, to basically say that straight families and gay families, like gay families perform worse. And um, pretty much every single scientific organization reviewed these studies and found that they were all full of shit. And then they made their own comprehensive uh, nationwide study and found that gay parents and straight parents are pretty much the same when it comes to raising a kid. So that's that's science. It's very easy to argue that it's real. And this man is failing to convince me that it isn't real. Source material. You're not analyzing methodology. You're listening to the screen people tell you, well, science says this. The screen people. study that says this. And you're like, okay, I guess it does. And it's funny because the left is very anti-religion, specifically anti-Christianity. But since man is... Yeah, fuck Christianity. Christians are really mean... They're typically homophobic and transphobic and uh, also conservatives and contribute a lot to ruining the world and making it a worse place. Obviously, there are some nice Christians. A a good chunk of them are big Trump supporters and bad conservative people. Um, I'm getting really tired of this video a religious creature they're just replacing god with other ways of explaining the universe in this case i don't know what AKA this video is people, right unfortunately and I wish people. this weren't the case but science is totally corrupted i could build a baking soda volcano with stolen ingredients and it would have more integrity than the information that were being presented by the media and the reason for dude, that, dude is- dude that that baking soda volcano would have more integrity than you i i got him guys i got him that these people have agendas. So they write a grant to a group of lab coats and they say- Lab coats, okay. We got the term lab coats. Um, this is commonly a term that the neo-Nazi Nick Fuentes commonly calls the Jews lab coats. He refers to Jews as lab coats. And so for this guy, I guess it's screen people and there's a little bit of a uh, crossover with uh, screen people. So that's his other word for it. I think that this dude's a full on Nazi type thinks the Jews are controlling everything, controlling science, infiltrating the government. Yeah, he's he's probably somewhere on that Nazi spectrum. So, pretty yikes. See if you can vaguely prove this conclusion, and that's what happens, and it's always done so incompetently with regards to- Science doesn't work backwards like that. The point, you don't, I mean, I learned the, about the scientific method in elementary school, my guy. You don't start at a conclusion and try to prove it you make a hypothesis and then you test it and then your conclusion is the result of your experiment it's it's really that simple you don't work backwards from a conclusion this man doesn't know how science work he's very dumb i have to keep saying it he's stupid matter it's still Whom's published are the screen society. people so, probably anyways, the next Jews. one is water is life which is just a better way of branding the green new deal uh, which is epic because it's like hey uh, people need water, right? i think that water is life is about water and not the green new deal yeah water is life this could be referring to flint michigan and how their water is shitty and poopy and how they need better water i, I mean but the green new deal is good too i mean Climate change is a problem. We got to do something about that. Green New Deal wants to do something about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Now, what if we banned air travel and gave people money for just not being willing to work? No one disagrees that water is important. Hold now, on. what if we banned air travel and gave people money? Making air travel obsolete is seems like a cool thing. If we could move faster than a plane, that's pretty cool. And help people unwilling to work. I mean, if someone doesn't want to work, 
they shouldn't be forced to work. Maybe that's a radical position for me, but I don't think that everyone should be forced to work. I think our culture has made it to where it's normal to think that everyone has to get a job and everyone has to work. We have enough money to s support. If we distributed the wealth properly in the world, not everyone would have to work. It would only be the people that want to. And a lot of people do want to work. ...for just not being willing to work. No one disagrees that water is important, but it's important to note that some of the greatest ecological disasters specifically pertaining to water came from socialist countries. Not that this sign is in favor of socialism explicitly, but I think we all know the conclusion of these ideas, so. Uh, the last one is, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And I guess this is true, but the problem is that what they believe to be I guess this is true. Injustice, okay, so you have no argument. Is inconvenient to their narrative. The way that we understand justice is basically protection of our God-given rights, whereas their understanding of justice is basically enforced equality. Enforced and equality. Coexist, which is why they play aggressively. Okay, um... When someone says that I want equality, it doesn't mean that they want everyone to be the same, everyone to be treated the same way, have it be enforced. People would be happier if they at least could work at jobs they want and make a livable wage. Yeah, that's very true. <sighs> when, when I say I want equality, equal rights, this doesn't mean I want to limit everyone to some arbitrary same level and restrict things like make it to where everyone has to be gay or something i don't know what like forced equality it's not forced i just don't want to have people discriminated against and being harassed for differences that's what that means um for him to not interpret this like that really weird I think I'm done watching him. This is like an hour long segment. <laughs> ah, 16 minute videos, man. They are long. But that'll be it for that one.